sekitar untuk mm-hmm. saksikan infotainment mengenai uh, fisiologi sukan. Okay. Saksikan. Hi, my name is Chili Ming and I'm an exercise physiologist from the National Sports Institute. I've been working here for more than 10 years. Um, I'm currently uh, working with the National Track Cycling based in Melbourne in preparation for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Um, the cyclists are such as um, Azizul Hasni Awang, Mohamed Shah Firdaus Sahrom and Mohamed Fadil Zonis. Exercise physiology is a study um, where we study how the roles how exercise uh, changes the roles and functions of the body when we exercise. Uh, for example, how um, the heart rate changes, hormonal changes as well as um, blood changes when we exercise. We provide services um, throughout the pre realization plan, which is uh, which lengths from one year up to four years according to the competition phase. For example, um, SEA Games, which is uh, on the December, end of the year. So what we do is uh, we provide um, a series of tests um, beginning of the year and we can uh, determine what's the strength and weakness and we work towards the end of the year, hoping that we can pick them at the right time, at the right place. Okay, sebelum kita memulakan ujian VO2 uh, Max, atlet um, akan dipakaikan um, mask okay, boleh cuba berkayu sedikit dulu Ini adalah salah satu um, ujian makmal yang uh, diberikan kepada atlet uh, dan ujian ini dinamakan VO2 max test uh, untuk menguji maksimum oksigen uh, update dan juga um, lactate threshold uh, seseorang atlet. <laughs> ini adalah bacaan yang display uh, semasa atlet menjalankan ujian. Um, di sini ialah uh, bacaan di mana oksigen uptake uh, semasa atlet melakukan uh, kayuhan tersebut. Uh, we have two types of testing, which is the field testing and also the lab testing, which is um, this uh, lab uh, where we held the test. Um, we use um, different, we test different comp- uh, fitness components. For example, speed, we do sprinting test, um, power, we do like, um, for example, jump test, counter movement, uh, drop jump on the force platform. The development athletes have a lot of room of improvement where um, even if we give a certain uh, stimulus, they, we can see some um, changes. Whereas for the elite athletes, um, it's pretty hard to uh, see big changes. But with all the co- uh, cooperation among our sports science de- uh, departments, such as uh, psychology, strength and conditioning, nutrition and everything, uh, we are able to uh, enhance um, the athlete uh, prof- uh, performance yeah uh, what we do after competition if we fail <laughs> or even if we win what we do is we have a postmortem to uh, to check what's our strength weakness um, opportunity and also threat uh, we list out what is needed to do and uh, work towards uh, to the next phase.